That's right, Christine. It was a long day for the Republican candidate. He started his day in Glendale at an event with firefighters. Then he came out here to Downey. Take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, stand with me. Help me welcome Larry Elder. At New Season LA Church in Downey. Recall Republican candidate Larry Elder receives a rock star ovation. Only to be interrupted by this heckler. Security immediately grabbed the man and pushed him out of the building. Elder continued as if it never happened. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, we've got a state to save. In the hour and a half Latino town hall meeting, Elder talked about everything from the high cost of living to the rise in crime in California. And we're talking about violent crime, up 41% shootings and murders. And disproportionately, the people who are hurt by the rise of crime are black and brown people living in urban areas. When it comes to illegal immigration. I do not believe that we should be encouraging illegal immigration no matter what country you come from. He accuses Governor Gavin Newsom of poorly handling the pandemic. I wouldn't have shut down the state. <laughs> I wouldn't have shut down the state. I would have relied on the common sense and the judgment of men and women and their parents to determine what should be done. Those in attendance seem to love the message. Listen, I came here in 1971. I have lived here all my life. And I'm considering leaving the state because I cannot stand it here anymore. I just can't. And he brings you hope? He, oh, my goodness, yes. Larry's amazing. I've been listening to him for 25 years. So he's amazing. I was so glad, so, so very glad that he decided to run because we need somebody that represents the values that we have. Elder promised to protect the freedom of religion. He expressed he's pro-life and he does not believe racism is a problem in America. And when I become governor, I'm going to use the power of my bully pulpit to say things like that to stop this nonsense. Racism has never been less significant in America than today. One woman walked out calling Elder a bleeping hypocrite. Outside the church, the heckler who was kicked out had a lot more to say. But elder supporters say he's the right man for the job. And come Tuesday, they'll be voting for Larry Elder. He is out to change and improve. And he's going about it the right way. He's not doing it as a government entity. He's doing it as a person who cares. If elected, the 69-year-old candidate says that he plans to declare a state of emergency on housing and he plans to repeal the vaccine mandate. Alex Christine, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. So it looked like a lot of love for Larry Elder, Gina, but not a lot of masks for the indoor event. No, the really, I, I try to count, mostly everyone was maskless except the media. All right. Tomorrow night on The Issue Is, I go one-on-one -on -one with Larry Elder. You can watch that at 1030 right here after the Fox 11 News at 10. Stay with us for continuing coverage. On Sunday night, I'll be with Governor Newsom in Los Angeles. On Monday, we'll be in Long Beach with President Biden on the campaign trail. And on Tuesday night, we'll have live results here on the Fox 11 News at 10.